are you looking to nail a super solid stereo amp patch with the HX Stomp? If you want to avoid some of the pitfalls and get some tips and tricks, follow me. Hi, I'm Budget Pedal Chap, and today we're going to be looking at how to set up a stereo amp patch on the HX Stomp. Right, so we've come over to uh, HX Edit. So we've opened up a completely blank preset. First step we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the amp and cab blocks and use one of those. The reason why we use an amp and cab rather than an amp or a preamp is because they seem to take up less DSP. When I tried it with the amp and an impulse response, it would only let me do one impulse response. And also you are limited to eight blocks in the the HX stomp. So if you can have the amp and cab as one block, it makes it more efficient as well. We're going to the US Deluxe, which is a Fender style amp. Uh, really glassy cleans, really nice sounding. Um, also kind of mid scooped, so really works for that kind of chimey sound. Uh, and what we're doing is we're going to pan it over all the way to one one of the sides so we can really hear the difference when the stereo patch is made. And we're just going to test that one out now. So what I'm going to do is turn it off so when we select our second amp, you can really, uh, really dial that one in separately. Uh, so to offset the, the Fender style sound, I've gone for a, uh, a Marshall style sound because they almost work in a, in a completely different spectrum um, of frequency. So the, the Fender sound has got that kind of dip in the mid-range, whereas the... Um, the Marshall style sound has got a really rich mid-range. And as you can notice, uh, this is a 412 cab as well, so it's going to be much beefier, much bigger sounding. So I'm going to take away a little bit of the woofiness by bringing up that low cut, but I'm also darkening up the sound just by adjusting the uh, the distance uh, and the mic to the cab because it will give a little bit of a darker sound and it will pair really well with that Fender style sound. So again, what I'm doing is moving over to the uh, the junction, the mixer part, and I'm going to um, change the pan on the. I'm going to change the pan on A as well, so it goes completely to the right. So you'll be able to hear a huge spread of the two amps. This is a stage that you can do a little bit more subtly if you want the stereo effect to be slightly less pronounced. So now I'm going to combine them and hear how they sound together. They sound pretty good. I'm happy with that. We'll move on now because we're hearing a little bit of noise through the signal, we're gonna introduce a little bit of uh, gating. When you are running two amplifiers, you will notice that that noise level comes up a bit. I find that using a noise gate, even if only ever so slightly and subtly, uh, is, is much needed. So it's another reason why using the, the amp and cab blocks is a great idea because it then frees you up a little bit. 
to avoid it sounding too sterile, we're going to add um, we're going to add some reverb. And the reverb that we're, we're going to choose today is the room because it's quite natural sounding. It's from the legacy um, block of effects, which tend to be less DSP heavy um, because they are they're older patches from the um, the old RV4, I think it was the the older um, like four button line six units that you used to find on pedal boards. Uh, we're gonna dial it in to get it just just sounding like they're sitting within a room, nothing too overpowering. Gonna bring that decay back a little bit as well. So once it sits quite nicely, we'll move on. This is a little trick that I found within one of the HX Stomp uh, Facebook groups, and I can't think of who it was to give credit to. Um, they suggested using an LA studio comp at the end of the, your chain um, because it emulates that kind of polished guitar tone, which you, you'd hear as a, like a recorded guitar tone because once uh, once a guitar tone is in a, in a mix in a studio there's definitely going to be compression on uh, because as you can see the LA studio comp is grayed out uh, we've gone for the three band comp to start off with but it's just a little bit too much I can hear it still working I just, I'll just i go through tweaking some of the settings um, but it's just a little bit too much so we're going to go to uh, the deluxe comp uh, and get that to a really nice subtle um subtle effect so that we can it, it just adds a bit of sheen to your um your overall tone but doesn't color it too much and it's really good it, it feels really good to play as well you, you get a slightly nicer feel with a tiny little bit of really subtle compression there you have it that's our stereo clean guitar patch when might you do a dual amp setup with your hx stomp it is ideal for if you are trying to get a absolutely solid bass tone but that's all that you need to do the issues that you might run into is running out of dsp as we saw in the video which means that some of the blocks available to you will be grayed out which means that you will not be able to utilize those so let's have a think about where you might use this patch it would be a really good bass tone for your guitar using two amps together means that you can get a really wide spectrum of frequencies where one amp might have a bit of a mid scoop you can use another amp that's a little bit more mid rich to really fill out the whole frequency especially if you are one guitarist in a band say maybe a trio or you're playing with other instruments where there's only one guitar available that will really help fill out the sound with the HX Stomp though, there are some pitfalls and the DSP limitations are exactly that. If you're looking for a massive, expansive dual amp setup with tons of ambience and reverbs and delay, it simply does not have the processing power to be able to deal with that. This is where something like the LT or the Full Fat Helix is an ideal option. If you're looking at a stereo amp patch without limitations, Josh here at Pedal Boards of Doom has done a stereo amp patch on the Quad Cortex. So if you click on this link here, you should be able to see that video now. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you're subscribing and hitting a like on this video. See you guys soon.